It was the price of bread that led to the downfall of a dictator. Back in mid-December 2018, thousands of demonstrators took to the streets of several Sudanese cities, unhappy with the high cost of living. But they quickly turned their anger towards President Omar al-Bashir, who ruled the country since coming to power in a 1989 military coup. He declared a state of emergency, but was overthrown by the army on April 11th. I, the defense minister and head of the security committee, announce the uprooting of this regime and am arresting its head. But the coup did little to reassure the public. Protesters were afraid the military would try and cling to power, and they wanted a swift transition to civilian rule. After four months of hard-fought negotiations, a transition agreement was signed, creating a civilian military coalition tasked with running the country until new democratic elections are held in 2022. Bashir was arrested and charged with corruption. He's now facing trial for his role in the 1989 coup. <laughs> Along with Bashir, another 16 people are facing coup-related charges, including two of the country's former vice presidents. Sudan has also pledged to hand Bashir over to the International Criminal Court to be tried for war crimes and genocide during the conflict in Darfur between 2003 and 2004, which left an estimated 300,000 people dead.